Hello everyone and welcome back to Commonwealth Realm. With New Horizons just around the corner and my hype uncontainable, I'm back with even more Animal Crossing content. Specifically, let's have a little chat about how New Horizons is quickly shaping up to be the best Animal Crossing game we've ever had. Oh, and Comrade will also be chiming in this time around to share his thoughts on the game, having played it at PAX East. Lucky guy. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to not miss any future content. Anyways, let's start off by looking at some of the key features of this title and compare them to what we've had in past Animal Crossing games. So, choosing a point to start off on was pretty hard here, but I think we'll be beginning with what I consider to be the best and biggest most significant new feature of any Animal Crossing game ever. That being the ability to create and destroy terrain with the new construction permit. When I saw this in the direct, my jaw hit the floor. This is just absolutely unprecedented in what it means for the level of control we now have over our town. As we can see, you can literally create new rivers, waterfalls, land bridges, cliffs, anything really. I cannot stress enough the potential for creativity this is going to bring to the game. You could shape your island into, well, any shape you wanted. If you've got a pirate themed town, you could maybe make it shaped like a skull. Maybe think of building a giant lake with an island in the middle. I wonder if you could put your house on it and make a sort of like fishing shack with a dot? My mind is still processing this one, to be honest. Compare it to the other Animal Crossing games that came before and, well, there really isn't anything to compare it to. You were stuck with your town's layout and that was it. Not anymore. The only limit, besides not making your island one tile big, is your imagination now. Yeah, I'm sure there are some restrictions, like I said you probably can't make your island absolutely huge or tiny, however that is pretty reasonable of a restriction in my opinion. We don't want people breaking the game. So in terms of this new feature, it's a massive, massive improvement on the past Animal Crossing games, that is for sure. So how about crafting? Crafting is going to allow us to make tools, furniture, and probably some other stuff too. In the past, such items could only be found at retail or Nook's store. If you were just starting out in your town and they didn't have it in stock, well, you're out of luck. Come back tomorrow and pray what you need is there. As someone who wants to get collecting immediately off the get-go, this was a frustrating aspect of the game for me. However, the ability to make these tools all by ourselves now, even if they're a lesser quality version in some areas, is extremely helpful. I was initially worried that crafting being introduced to Animal Crossing was just simply cashing in on modern gaming trends. Almost every other game since Minecraft made it popular to include crafting in the game. Indeed, I was also worried about them making the game like the inferior Pocket Camp too. However, I don't see any of those negatives here. They've explained crafting in a fair amount of detail now, and everything seems fine and balanced. Plus, collecting those DIY recipes that can wash up on shore is definitely going to keep me busy. Now then, with two of the biggest features out of the way, how about we hear from Conrad who was lucky enough to play New Horizons at PAX and even enter their awesome themed area. Animal Crossing New Horizons prior to PAX was exclusively a watch Nintendo play and demonstrate features experience. All great, but until you have your controller in your hand, you can't really fathom the leap this game offers. First and foremost, Full HD, a sharpness and level of detail that we have never seen in any Animal Crossing game prior. And it was first during PAX East that many of us realized what level of difference this makes. Yes, it was a little bummer that the demo was a 4 player experience, 1 leader and 3 supporters, but in return we got to play at a later a stage in the game with the massive new museum in place and many other items and houses already built on the island. The 20 minutes I got to spend with the game was full of joy and addictive play, which really made me want to continue the session beyond the allocated time, a very good sign for the game. So much so that I during the last minutes of the game wondered if it was possible to ask the Nintendo booth volunteers to pick up the Switch out of the dock to see how the game looks when unlocked. This unfortunately wasn't possible, but the fact that we can easily switch between playing Animal Crossing on the TV docked and in a matter of seconds on the system and head outside to continue our island adventure really speaks volumes of how much better this Animal Crossing experience is compared to past titles. If only Animal Crossing was real, well, I packed it nearly was as the island booth with house, bonfire, beach, bridges and most of all Tom Nook, KK Slider and Isabel was more than we could ever ask for. No doubt, Nintendo's best booth since Super Mario Odyssey's New Donk City at E3 2017. What else is there to say? Other than that, this Animal Crossing experience leaves less up to chance and grants you control in applying for permits and taking smarter financial decisions that will help your island thrive. Naturally, there are some losses on the way, like Shampoodle no longer being a thing, but then again, the new direct selection of hairstyles and hair colors is much better than answering some random questions and then beg that you don't end up with a disaster of a hairstyle that you can't do anything about for the rest of your real life day. 
On top of that, it will also save you quite the amount of bells since you end up with exactly the style you want, much like the recent mainline Pokemon titles. Simplifying and improving our Animal Crossing experience appears to have been a priority for the development team, which has managed to grant AC the same leap from handheld to console as we saw in the case of Fire Emblem last year. In fact, the first review of the game pretty much went completely along with this statement, as Famitsu gave New Horizons a final score of 38 out of 40, that is to say 2 10 out of 10s and 2 9 out of 10s, based on 4 selected reviewers. In the review they especially praised the visuals of the game, the new Nook mileage system, the massive museum, crafting, multiple terrain, building placement control, and the modern and very stressless interface. In my own demo experience, I can confirm that all of this is correct, and despite the very limited time with the game, we had enough time to explore the island, craft items, explore the interface, and the Nook phone, and even say hi to Isabel and Tom Nook. The demo was impressive as it didn't hold your hand, but instead allowed you and your team to explore the island the way you wanted, much like it is in the base game. I can't stress this enough, with the PAX East presence, Nintendo has built the hype perfectly for the launch of New Horizons. Now we can't wait for Animal Crossing to break new sales records on the Nintendo Switch as this game's delivers were for instance Pokemon Sword and Shield underwhelmed fans around the world. Okay for real, I'm totally jealous of him. However, let's proceed with some other new features coming to New Horizons. There are a load of smaller changes that actually add up significantly and address some of the most prevalent and common complaints that fans have had over the years. Let's quick fire off a few shall we? Just forgive me if I miss some, there are so many that it's mind boggling. How about, for example, the ability to now designate where your villagers can move into? Finally, no more animals ruining my town's road and overall design. This was such a big problem, so I'm very glad that it has been addressed. Don't forget too, even something as fundamental as changing tools has now been upgraded too, via the new tool wheel. It could be a pain cycling tools in other games, a lot of time you didn't have the tool you wanted when you needed it. However, this new simple wheel is going to make that a thing of the past. We've also got a brand new storage system that has been reworked for New Horizons. Instead of having to manually put away every one of our items into storage, we can now do so from anywhere inside our house. Speaking of houses, the furniture we can arrange also moves way quicker too. Combine this with the Happy Home Designer style mode of arranging your items and it's the easiest it's ever been. Long gone are the days of dragging stuff around the house by hand and rotating them slowly. The online and multiplayer aspects of the game have also been significantly improved too. Whereas before you were limited to just 4 players being in a single session, you can now have 8. This effectively doubles the amount and allows way more people to hang out with. Additionally, the new co-op mode that allows 4 players locally to join in will be perfect for those living with family who want to hang out and do stuff together. Having 8 players being able to live on one island is a huge amount too. Let's not forget, we also have new safety features built into online. Let's face it, sometimes people joining our towns aren't always as polite, courteous or neat as we'd want them to be. They can cut down our trees, run over our plants, etc. Now however, tools such as the axe and shovel are restricted to them unless the individual is designated as a best friend. Compare this to the past where you had to stalk your guests and keep an eye on them at all times, and yeah, this is a major improvement over that. Perfect for people who trade things online via forums or groups and have a lot of new people in and out of their town frequently. I can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet too, but what about that amazing new character designer? We were previously stuck with whatever the game gave us as a result of answering questions in the opening sequence. You had to look up online guides to cheat the system just to be the appearance that you wanted to have. Well, now we've got a highly detailed menu that lets you, well, choose what you want to look like. Such a simple thing by modern gaming standards, but phew, what a relief. It was so annoying to have such little control on how you look. Plus, if you're not white skinned, then you had to literally stand in the sun to tan for a darker complexion. What a weird way of going about it in hindsight. Oh, and as a quick personal comment, I originally didn't like the idea of the Nook phone, thinking a smartphone was taking away some of the rural aspect of the game. But, they've actually managed to make it work in the Animal Crossing setting. It has a load of useful stuff like the rescue service, Nook Miles challenges, a camera, DIY recipes, a map, and much more. I do just wonder, however, how the signal is going to be on a deserted island. Probably not the best. Regardless, I think I've made the point here. All of these amazing new features, quality of life improvements, and awesome abilities. So our verdict? Yes, Animal Crossing New Horizons appears to be the absolute best Animal Crossing game ever made. Full HD, the new features, the quality of life improvements, the overall appearance and design of the game that gives us unprecedented freedom, it all wraps up into one awesome, cute, animal-based package. We're so hyped for this game and cannot wait to play. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed 
enjoyed the video, be sure to leave us a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Additionally, if you want to help the channel out that bit extra, why not check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash commonroll. Join the many others who make our videos possible and get some awesome perks along the way. As always, a big shout out goes to our royal producers and we will see you all next time on the Commonwealth Run or in one of these two awesome videos.